Hello everyone, we will continue the topic new data browser and in the previous video we compared so many features of new data browser with the data browser. Now we will go for few more features. Now in the previous video, yes we covered in case of SC16, the name of the button is multiple selection. In case of SC16N, the name of the button is move. So if I want to go for, so previously what we did, we went for range. Suppose I'm deleting this. We went for range 1 to 10. Okay. Then we simply went for random values also. Now suppose I want to go for a range, but I want to exclude the values also. So how we did in SC16? We gave the input 1 to 10. We want to go for 1 to 10. But in between this 1 to 10, we want to exclude suppose 5. So we want to exclude single value. So I will go for exclude single values. Range is 1 to 10. Suppose I want to exclude 5. I will go for OK. I will go for OK. So we have 1 to 10 but 5 is not there. How we will do this in SC16N? Firstly, suppose I will delete this. I will click on to delete all entries. Now you want to go for 1 to 10. Now you want to exclude 5. So 1 to 10 is coming. You want to exclude 5. But there is no such button available to exclude a single value. So you need to click on to which particular button option. You need to go for option. I will click on to option. Now I want, do not want to select 5. I do not want to select 5. So have you seen? We have an option do not select equal to which value you do not want to select. I do not want to select 5. So I will choose this particular option. I do not want to select and the value is equal to 5. So in case of SC16, we have a dedicated tab there. There you can pass which value you do not want to select. Here you need to choose from the option. I will go for OK. Now whenever I will execute, you can see 1 to 10 but 5 is not there. Now in case of SC16, if you want to exclude the range, how we did that? Suppose I am deleting this. So suppose I want to go for 1 to 10. But out of this 1 to 10, I want to exclude 4 to 6. So how I will do? I will click on to multiple selection button. So include is 1 to 10. Now you want to exclude the range. So how we excluded? We are going for 4 to 6. Now I will go to execute. You can see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is not there. Then we have 7 to 10. Here how I will do. Because here we do not have tabs. So firstly, I will delete this suppose. Now we want to go for 1 to 10. I will click on to more button. Now you do not want to go for 4 to 6 servos. So you can go for this button, option button now. Now you do not want to include a range. You want to go for 1 to 10, but you do not want to include a range 4 to 6. So how we will do that? 
you can simply simply go for do not select include range and which range do you do not want to include four to six i will go for okay i will go for okay now you can see one two three is there four five six excluded then we have seven to ten now but in case of sc16 suppose i want to up uh, whenever i want to apply various relational operators suppose not equal to less than greater than equal to how we did that at that point of time suppose i want to delete i will delete this suppose i do not want those records where payment mode is c i want to check those records where payment mode is not c so in case of sc16 we double clicked when we double clicked we can choose we want to go for not equal to suppose we gave c whenever i will go to number of entries it will show me that seven entries are there where payment mode is not equal to c so whenever you want to go for various relational operators you are double clicking and you are checking here here how you will do in sc 16 here double click will not work suppose i am deleting this so here if i will double click it will not work so you need to compulsory click on to which button option button you want to go for those records where payment mode is not equal to c so you have to choose this particular thing now you want to go for those records where payment mode is not equal to c click on to number of entries seven records and once we will execute yes we are able to find same to same thing now we will simply simply go for various features here we already covered the features in sc16 same thing is available in sc16 and also suppose i will just pass all the records i will delete i will execute now we already studied so many features here in the output screen in sc16 same thing we will see in sc16n whenever you want to display a record just select it is there is a option for details so it will show you that specific record in a new pop up window this is a pop up window where you can see the details of a particular record you can sort the data in ascending or descending order select the column you can sort the data in descending order now the data is sorted in descending order based upon order number similar way i can sort in descending or can sort in ascending order also now i can apply filter suppose i want to go for those records where payment mode is c so how i can do i will simply select that column i will go to set filter now i will go for c whenever i will go for okay i am only able to see those records where payment mode is c i can delete the filter so whenever you will select here we have a option of delete filter or you can go to set filter and there also we have a option of delete so it's totally your wish how you want to delete the filter and you can see we are able to see all the records we can make some of amount column so if you want to make some of amount or quantity columns as of now we have only amount column select those pet column and we have a option of total and we are able to see the total
Now we can export this data. If previously also we exported that data through SC60. How we can export that data through SC60? And here we have the option of export spreadsheet. Now you can simply, simply export that data in the form of Excel. XLS. So I will choose this radio button. I'll distribute. I think system is slow. Okay. I have choose this radio button. Suppose I will save that data onto my desktop. Suppose I am saying export underscore two. Suppose. And you can see our data is exported onto desktop and I'm able to see that data onto my desktop, desktop export underscore two. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we again see the features of the new data browser SC16N. We compared with SC16, how those features were in SC16 how those features are in SC16. And we simply studied how to filter that data yes, based upon the selection criteria, how you can exclude the, exclude the single values, how you can exclude the ranges, how you can go for or how you can apply the various relational operators. If you are getting the output, how you can apply all those features in SC16. And now in the next video, we will again compare the features of SC16, uh, SC16 with SC16. And so that's it in this particular video. Thank you.